that's the intro, and then when uh, the singing starts. to see if you can recognize the song. It's by Jackson Brown. It's called Farther On and it is another hired request. Uh, someone actually hired me to do two Jackson Brown songs. This is the first of the two and they're the album versions. And uh, you know, Jackson's kind of one of those those artists you don't really hear a lot on the radio. Uh, it's not really you know, trumpeted across the airwaves, or uh, you don't really hear about that much, but he's got some good music, and there are some really devoted fans to his music, and especially this album. I've done some reading on the album. Uh, what's it called? Late for the Sky, and uh, really interesting stuff. Uh, anyway, I, I like his music. So anyway, let's get started with the free part one here on YouTube. Uh, my name is Sean Cheek, and if you haven't seen my lessons before, I use the whiteboard to teach you how to play by ear, so that if you've never had any music lessons, you can just sit down and start playing. Um, but if you've had had music lessons, that'll help you a little bit, of course. But uh, we get started here. I'll put the free part one on YouTube. The rest of the song, when this video gets posted on YouTube, the rest of it will already be on webpianoteacher.com. That's my website webpianoteacher.com for members. You'll be able to play the whole song. And I do that because this is the way that I make a living. I am a uh, music teacher, have been for 20 years. Now I'm just doing it online. Um, the best way to get, get uh, to contact me, get a hold of me, see what I'm up to, what's going on um, here at the house is Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com and you'll find my fans page. And I just I put posts on there every day. So you can, can see what I'm up to. Um, I'm also on Twitter if you like to do tweets. My name is Web Piano Teacher on there as well. Enough of that, let's get to the lesson here, the free part one. Um, here's the intro. I am doing the album version. What I like about this, it's just stripped down already. There's no, it's not pieced together, and there's not all these strings and synthesizers and stuff that come in to try to fill up the sound. It's just him playing the piano, singing. Um, with, uh, I think, a steel guitar and a good, another acoustic guitar strumming and, you know, very simple accompaniment and um, it's just a good, nice to get back to that once in a while. I'm going to start with a G chord in the right hand, D, G, B. Left hand's on an A octave. Now, I only put one A, uh, but a lot of times in this, in this type of accompanying for piano, the left hand just does octaves, okay? So, I just put one A, but let's play two. A on the thumb, A on the pinky. We're going to be up here in the middle, middle C on the right hand, D, G, B. Play that together, and then a D. So we do have a G chord in the right hand and an A octave in the left hand. Okay, so that's correct there. And then just play that D again on your thumb, straight eighth notes, and then D, G, B again. And I connect, connected those with a curved line because they're eighth notes, so they, they go a little quicker. And you're going to go to E, A, C sharp here. I like to finger that one, two, three, and then one, two, four there. That's just me. You may want to finger differently. F sharp A D, and then an A octave again, and then D F sharp A on the right hand again. Now feel free to play those whatever octave you're on the left hand to play it again throughout because you know I'm doing the album version, but some of it you can't always hear what the piano is doing clearly. So some of it is a little bit fill in the blank for me, and uh, you have to. You know, be able to put some more left hand in there than I just wrote. It's fine to do that. Uh, to start with, it's good to just play it where I have it and then try to add a little more left hand. D F sharp A, and that's the rhythm. Bum, 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 bum. Now I'm going to add a little more left hand and show you what I'm talking about. Kind of playing the drums with my left hand there, doing the pinky and thumb kind of back and forth. Now, that's not audible in the recording because you just can't always hear every note. But uh, I guarantee you, a pianist who play this type of thing, that's what they're doing. They're keeping that left hand going. Okay, but if you just start with just like it's written, it's a good way to start just to get used to it. Now we're going to go to the next measure. 
be B, D, E, A together. Left hand on an A octave. One, one count there, and then two E and a sixteenth note there. Bop, 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 bop. A, E, D, B. It's the same note you play here. Just roll downward. Here we have E, A, C sharp. And then A octave again. E, four, and. Then you play that middle C sharp one more time on the and of four at the end of that. So it's one, two, and three, four, and. Okay, now let's put these two measures together. Ready, go. One. See that? I turn a little bit. Gets my hand in position. Alright? One, two. Now we keep going. I like that. That's really neat sounding. F sharp D B together. Left hand on a B octave down here. B E F sharp. And then I'm gonna play A and D together. I'm going to do something here that's very valuable in this type of music. That's called what I call a country third. D, A, flip the A to B. Those of you who follow me know how to do this very well. And then we're going to play D, A again, and then G. Now the rhythm is... That is the wrong inversion. I'm sitting here looking at it not realizing that I wrote the wrong inversion. <laughs> it's a B minor chord, but sometimes we see what we want to see, huh? D, B, F sharp is what we need. What's the matter, Evan? Okay, I'll look at that in a minute. I'm doing a lesson. Okay? I'll be done in a few minutes. Go on. I'll be done in a few minutes. Alright, so you play this together. F sharp, B, D, F sharp, A and D together. Now here, A and D together, flip it to B, and then D and A, G, and that's the rhythm. Now let's tie that together with what we did at the beginning. Ready? Go. Left hand. So it's one and two and, and then I ran out of room. We 
finish it in the, on the next board. There are four boards all together, and the last three boards have a lot more notes written on them than this. And we do the whole song, of course. But let's go from the beginning now to the very end at a very slow tempo for you. Ready, go. One. Part one, I hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later.